10 of the best books on ecology and the environment to hit the shelves over the past 10 years. This is Planet 100. I'm Sarah Backhouse. Welcome to Planet 100, where we count down the top 10 green reads of the past 10 years. In at number 10, architect William McDonough and chemist Michael Braungart's book Cradle to Cradle is a manifesto in ecologically intelligent design. Published in 2002, the book proposes replacing the antiquated design processes of the Industrial Revolution with one that's in harmony with nature. In at number 9, UCLA professor Jared Diamond theorizes on how societies succeed or fail by identifying five distinct factors. From climate change to hostile neighbors, Diamond concludes that a society's response to its environmental problems is the most significant. In at number 8, writer Jonathan Safran Boer takes us into deepest, darkest America, factory farms and industrial slaughterhouses. Eating Animals explores how we justify our eating habits and challenges us on inconsistencies like being a nation of pet lovers while continuing to devour animals. In at number 7, New York Times columnist Thomas Friedman lays out his strategy for America in hot, flat and crowded. Climate strategy will not only save the planet from overheating, it will help make America richer, healthier, more productive and more secure. In at number 6, veteran writer and editor of Whole Earth Catalog Stuart Brand challenges conventional environmental thinking. In Whole Earth Discipline, Brand advocates that environmentalists embrace nuclear power and GMOs as technologies with more promise than risk. In at number 5, the film that solidified a movement, An Inconvenient Truth, also raced up the bestseller charts. Gore's book has been described as a user-friendly introduction to global warming and a succinct summary of many of the central arguments. In at number 4, Michael Pollan's Omnivore's Dilemma asks a simple question. What should we have for dinner? Turns out that simple question has profound political, economic, psychological and moral implications for us all and promises to change the way we look at food. In at number 3, natural sciences writer Janine Banius' sixth book is entitled Biomimicry – Innovation Inspired by Nature. In it, she seeks sustainable solutions by emulating nature's designs and processes like solar cells that mimic leaves or businesses that run like redwood forests. In at number 2, environmental heavyweights Paul Hawken, Amory Lovins and Hunter Lovins team up for the seminal work Natural Capitalism. The book introduces a new business model which values natural resources and ecological systems, presenting an opportunity to innovative companies. In at number 1, Earth with two A's is the title Bill McKibben gives his new book and the planet formerly known as Earth. 20 years after his first book on climate change, McKibben's message is that climate change is no longer just a vague threat but a real and present danger. And that's our top 10 green reads of the past 10 years. How many can you tick off? Which ones did we miss? Let us know by leaving a comment at the Planet Green YouTube page and we'll see you next time on Planet 100.